not going to pass you by. Él no está por ver. He can't pass you Él by. No por pasar so por he will ver. look at you and he will say, that's my son. That's my daughter. And he is going to fulfill what you have asked him this week. I am sure of that. I know that my God is not a man that he shall lie. And I know the son of man that he shall repent. But he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. The topic of this morning is release of power. We have been fasting with Acts 1, verse 8. I want us to go there. And I want us to start from verse 4. Let's see what is there. Acts 1, verse 4. Acts 1, verse 4 to 8. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, says he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Please, before I continue, can everybody turn off his phone? Because I hear the mics are disturbed. And it's because of the, the frequency of the mobile phones. So please don't put them on silent, but turn them off. Thank you. Dale. We read in verse 4 that Jesus instructed the disciples that they should go to Jerusalem and not depart from Jerusalem until the Holy Ghost would come upon them. Amen? Amen. And what did the disciples do? Let's go to verse 12. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. They obeyed the word of Jesus. Jesus told them to go to Jerusalem and stay there. And they went to Jerusalem. That's what verse 12 says. Let's go to verse 13. And when they were coming, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphas, and Simon Zelotes and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. They obeyed the word of God by going to Jerusalem and staying in Jerusalem. And what did they do there? They prayed. They were in one accord. They were in unity. And they prayed. They, stand, they stood in the Bible says supplication. They were all together in unity in prayer. So what is going to be our job this morning? We are going to pray. We are going to do what the disciples did. The disciples stayed in Jerusalem and they waited for the manifestation of the power of God. They waited for the Holy Spirit to come. 
Santo Mene. And they prayed. Inácio Oração. They prayed. Inácio Oração. The promise e in Luke 24:49 was also da, me da, me da. Jesus would send the Holy Spirit. Pues es lo man, Espíritu Santo. And they were not praying for the coming of the Holy Spirit. No no pe, bien, 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 Santo. But they were waiting in prayer. De they were praying in expectancy. De expectativa. You know there is difference de between asking for something entre pedir algo and you are praying y orando, expecting something. Based on what I they were not praying please send the power. Orando, por favor, man, but they were praying orando, they were seeking The Bible says they were waiting. Because Jesus instructed them to wait. It was a promise for them to receive that power. It was not for them to go and beg for the power. The power was a promise. Go to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And don't depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the Holy Spirit. And the power that will pour upon you. They were not asking for power in Jerusalem. But they were waiting for they were power. power. I believe today we are waiting for the power. We are not going to ask for power. But the power is going to be released. We are waiting for that. We are waiting for the manifestation of that power here. Because today is the day of Pentecost. So the Pentecost. Amen. Amen. It was a promise. It was a promise to us today. We have been preparing ourselves to receive this promise. Just as our disciples were preparing themselves to receive the promise. They didn't come to Jerusalem. And the Holy Spirit was already waiting for them. No, they used days. Now they use ten days yes, to wait upon that power. Amen. Amen. And we have been waiting upon that power. Our prayer partner, the Holy Spirit was promised that He would come with power. And God promised this already through Joel. Joel. Let's go to Acts 2, verse 16 to 18. By this is which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. E lo sucederé el último día en Dios avisa con la misma de mi espíritu de vender humanidad y vos soy un hombre y vos soy un joven a lo profetizar y vos soy joven a lo mira visiona y vos soy anciana a lo soñar soñona and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy también me va a decir vidona tanto hombre como mujer lo misma parte de mi espíritu de el día en el y no lo profetizar that is the promise in Joel 2, verse 28 to 29. And it was remembered in Acts 2, verse 28 to 29. And it was remembered in Acts 2, verse 28 to 29. And it was remembered in Acts 2, verse 28 to 29. And it was remembered in Acts 2, verse 28 to 29. Amen. Amen. I want us to go to Joel. Me que vamos a ir a Joel. Because in the in the book of Joel, so Joel actually what they did, exact, um, actually lo que na hasi, we have done the same. Nos hace un cost. We have fasted. Nos ayuna, and they were fasting. Y nata, me nata ayuna. I want us to look at Joel 2. Me que nos va a Joel 2 verse 15 to 16. Yes, 5, 6. It says, Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, and call a solemn assembly. So, what do we do? We have a day of unanimity to proclaim an assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast, and let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Reuni el pueblo, santifica el congregación, reuni el anciano na, reuni el mucho na, y el yuna que tenga pecho, la que broida para salir por su cama y el broida por su cama y broida. Who did they call for the fast? Quién ha llamado para yuno? Whom did they call for the fast? All 
tú. They call the children. Ay, me llora. They call the elderly people. Y anciano. They call everybody. Ay, me llora. For this fast. Para ayuno. Ay. And what did we do? ¿Y qué cosas hacemos? We called for this fast. No está me llora para ayuno. Everybody. Tú rende. I heard from my children they were taught in the Sunday school about the fasting. Matera de mi yuna con ando ya ya manat pa de en Sunday school. And they said they want to fast. In avis na ke yuna. I said you're gonna fast. Ni mo de be yuna. How are you gonna fast? Ni mo de be yuna. And we talked about it together. Y nos papa dice tu mundo. What they could do? Lo que na por así. To fast. Pa yuna. To stretch themselves out to God. Rek na me esta me na Dios. And to receive the power. Y para recibir poder. Because if here in Joel. Cuando se aquí na de Joel. The children could fast. Y yuna mucho na por yuna. Our children can fast. Maybe they fast in a different way. But they can fast. For example, my children fast one day for television. For example, my children fast one day for They didn't watch television. They didn't watch television. They fast their they fast their their computer their Nintendo. They didn't play on their Nintendo. They didn't play on their Nintendo. They didn't play on their Nintendo. They fasted their breakfast. They didn't eat their breakfast. Different things every day. They made different things every day. Every day something else they fasted. Every day they did something new on their own. To show God. And they wanted the power. And they had prayer requests. Just like we have prayer requests. And we have heard pastor saying about praying for change of character, change of behavior, bad attitudes. Even in all night again, my husband talked about. Um, Um, strife in the church. Unforgiveness in the church. But we have to make change. And walk in unity. And walk in love. And that's like what I did with my children. We checked their characters. And they themselves could point out what they needed for kind of change in their lives. And I praised one of my boys yesterday. Because yesterday was a different day in his life. He, his behavior was completely different. That's what he fasted for. We were already seeing the manifestation. And we told him, you see, you stretch out to God and you do something you leave something for God and you show God that you trust him that he can help you he will do that and if he does it for our children he will do it for us let's check what he did in times of Joel Joel 2 verse 23 to 24 Joel 2 verse 23 to 24 Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain, in the first month. Asina, regocija, o yuna de Sion, y sea contento del Señor vosso Dios. Vos solo dona vosso, y promeo vida para justicia, y la baja agua ser un pavoso, tanto agua ser de herbs como eso de primavera, manera antes. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Y el plato será de pan de maíz, lo de yen de maíz, y el barina lo baja ofo de vino nuevo y seta. After fasting, there's time to rejoice. Después de yuna, tengo para regocija. Be glad. Sea contento. That's how it starts. Casi nadie da comida.
convierte en escena. That is restoration. Es esta restauración. Nothing. Nada. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Is going to be left behind in the enemy's hand. De enemigo su mano. But all. Pero todo. Is going to be restored. Lo cual lo restaura back now. Amen. Amen. And then in verse 26. This is what it says. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Y vos lo tiene abundancia para comer y lo queda satisfecho. Y lo alaba en nombre del Señor vos oh Dios que él te trata maravillosamente con vos. Y ahora él, mi pueblo, no guardo por vos nunca más. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Blessing. Bendición. Blessing. Bendición. He's not only going to restore to you what belongs to you but he's going to give you overflow. He gives you all you need. He gives you more than you need. He gives you that you can give to others. He gives you that you can be an example to others. That they may see Christ in you. That they may see the overflow of the kingdom in your life. He is going to give you blessing. So it's time to rejoice because it's time of restoration and it's time for blessing. And then what we already read in Acts 2 it says afterwards después de ese. afterwards después de ese. let's go there no, let's read it again you can see it's exactly the same and it shall come to pass afterwards y se de después. what does that mean? ¿Qué significa? after the fasting después de ayuno. afterwards después de after the rejoicing de after the restoration de after the it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit this was the promise of the outpour of the Holy Spirit the outpour of the power of God and that same power is going to manifest this morning in this house the power of the Holy Ghost the power of the Lord God Almighty that is what we have been waiting for we are not asking for that power but we are waiting for that power because it is a When you read the, the, the chapters of Acts, all that happened after the outpour of the power of the Holy Ghost, manifestation in every area of their lives, manifestation that even when they walked on the roads, the shadow was enough to heal the sick, to heal those that were with infirmities, their shadow was enough because of the outpour of the Holy Spirit and the, 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 the how do you say that the, the power that was manifested in our lives the power of the Holy Spirit the Spirit of God is these days sounding an alarm throughout the earth gathering together intercessors who will who will tarry and fast and repentance until we see God's power and glory pour out upon this generation. That is the cry of God for intercessors, for those who wait upon God, those who fast and seek His face, those who repent and take the sin We are expecting your power. We are expecting your promise. 
Esa. And that is what we have done this week. Esa, 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 that is what we as a church did this Nos, week. Iglesia, esa, as intercessors for this island. Para isla, for those even in the house. Están casi de ecas. Standing Paran. upon the promise of God. Iba e promesa na ni Dios. Today is Pentecost. Today is Pentecost. Today is Pentecost. What did they do on Pentecost? Pentecost. They get up together and they pray and they wait for the manifestation of the power. And what we are doing here today is no different from that. We are doing exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. And is God a respecter of any man? Is God an expecter of any man? He is not a respecter. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If it worked for them, it's going to work for us. If it worked for them, it must work for us. Because my God is not a man that he shall lie. My God is the Almighty God. My God is the Almighty God. My God is the Alpha and the Omega. And if it worked for them, How the wind was blowing in the times of Acts. That's how the wind is going to blow this morning. You know, in Hebrew, the word wind is the same as the word spirit. So when they talk about the wind blowing, they talk about the spirit blowing. And that spirit is going to blow. I want you to be full of expectations. I want you to be full of expectations. Who have been waiting? Who have been waiting for this moment? You are expecting that when this moment comes, because that's what you're waiting for. Don't let it pass you by. Don't let it pass you by. Stretch yourself out and receive this promise. It's time to rejoice. It's time to rejoice. It's time for restoration. And afterwards, it's time for the power.